everybody, and welcome to Double Your Sales Now. I'm super excited to have you back, and a special announcement. We hit number 62 in marketing in the U.S., and I just want to thank you all for being listeners and for downloading the show and for subscribing and telling your friends and leaving us reviews. We love you. We love you all over the world. Today, we're going to talk about, get this, I think it's, the timing is perfect, new ways to network during the pandemic with Kelly Holmes. And Kelly, I just want to welcome you to the show. So great to be here. Congratulations on where your show is at. That is amazing. Thank you. It's definitely a silver lining during a very difficult time for everybody on the planet. And we're gonna, we want to bring a lot of important information to you today just to serve you and to serve your business as you think about what's next. And Kelly and I have both been in conversations with our clients all over the world. And, you know, the thing to remember is that we truly are all in this together. I mean, the coronavirus... Um, and today I'm recording that we're recording this on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. And I want to share that with you so you have a timeline if you listen to this later of when this is happening. So it's just, you know, the, the coronavirus um, has basically brought everything to the United States in a halt at this point. And of course, Italy, other countries have been struggling with it. Um, at this moment, we're also hearing that China is starting to see the other direction. So, you know, there's some hope. There's some hope out there. And the big question is, what do we do as business owners? Like in this time of change, what do we do? How do we shift? And I'm super excited to have Kelly here. I'm going to tell you who she is in a moment, how we know each other, and the value that she's going to bring to our community today. Before I do that, though, I just I want to remind you, if you haven't gone to salescoachnow.com forward slash gift yet, go there. It's a free PDF. You can download it. Download it. It just has some, some tips on how to grow your sales right now. So go there. Get that. If so, here's the thing sales camp is going to return, it's an, a little hiatus. When it does, we want to see you at one of our sales camp events. Please email me at contact at salescoachnow.com so you can get our super special secret pricing for our podcast listeners. And we actually had listeners now coming from the podcast and joining us directly at a sales camp, which is really cool. Also, uh, just a special reminder if you love the show, leave a review on iTunes. We appreciate them. And we're going to have some special gifts coming out soon for anyone who leaves a review. And we just, we appreciate it so much because it really does help other people um, learn about the show and, and join us. So, with that, without further ado, Kelly and I go way back. <laughs> we basically go back to the Great Recession of California, which is very interesting. So, around that time, we've known each other for maybe a little bit before that, about 15 years. And Kelly C. Holmes, let me tell you about her and why she's so amazing. She's an expert in teaching entrepreneurs how to grow their business in big ways. She does this by sharing how creating and leveraging meaningful business relationships, which we need more than ever, can get business owners the results they're looking for. She is the CEO and founder of Team Referral Network and its sister company, Team Franchise Corp. Team has opened hundreds of chapters with thousands of members, has sold multiple franchises and markets throughout the U.S., and has recently launched Virtual Team, how perfect is that, with chapters that meet online only. Team has been in business since 2002, so I've, I've watched Kelly and the Team Referral Network just explode over the years. She's also the author of Cracking the Business Networking Code, Grow Your Business Through Relationships and Referrals, and featured in bestsellers, Revving Up for Success, and Elevate, a team collaborative book project. Kelly is a child of God, a wife, a mom, a CEO, a keynote speaker, and she's a regular radio webcast guest, uh, right? And travels the country teaching on networking and relationship marketing. Kelly, I'm so excited to have you here today. I've been looking forward to our conversation of catching up and reminiscing. And we started reminiscing. I'm like, we got to we gotta stop. We got to get on the show and have this conversation. So I would love it first if you would share a little bit about your story. And then for all of our listeners, I'm flipping the script a little bit today because then we're going we're gonna to dive into five ways to really network and five new ways to network in the pandemic. So we're going to talk about that. So let's hear from you first. I want to hear your story. So wonderful to be here. Um, I actually got to tell you, this has just been a bright shining light, knowing that we were going to do this, a bright shining light in my day. Um, as you and I were talking before we started on the podcast, obviously it's an insane time right now for all of us. And we are in this together. You know, our motto, of course, is together everyone achieves more. And we have been working very very hard with all of our entrepreneurs and members, business owners, independent contractors, trying to keep them connected so that they can continue to build the relationships and get the referrals that they 
want, but now absolutely need in order to grow their business. And so it's been just full speed ahead. And just knowing that I was going to take this break yeah. with you is really delightful. And it's been a number of years since we've actually done anything formal together. So how fun is this? Um, just a little bit, you know, team, is, as you heard, my bio is 18 years old this year, later on this year. Congratulations again. Yeah, thanks. I, you know, in keeping with the true um, uh, way you do this podcast normally, I'm just going to tell you the first time we doubled our sales was the year after we came emerged victorious out of a million dollar lawsuit. And all of that is, you know, uh, long in the past and don't really share too much information anymore on that. But what was funny is we've been caught up in a lawsuit for two, maybe closer to three years and really weren't able to grow the company. And then the minute we were litigation free, we, um, we almost tripled our business. Wow. That and that was just the freedom of being able to work worry free and be able to build in a way where you were not bringing people in that might be party to this and it would end up tainting their lives. And so what I want to share on that side of this, uh, things with my story is that freedom to just go be who we were meant to be and be able to work hard and be able to work with the right people made all the difference in the world. You know, here we are coming up on our 18th anniversary later this year and it's just hard to imagine in many ways, like you too, and all of us, it feels like yesterday and a hundred years ago. At the, same time. <laughs> right. yeah. the great news is I still absolutely love it. And I love a new challenge. And since we brought on virtual team chapters last year, we've been working on growing that program. I had no idea the world economy was going to help us so tremendously in growing <laughs> that end of our business. Um, but we're here to help. And so I'm looking forward to sharing some information with your listeners here today. Yeah. Well, and I'm glad you shared the double, like sometimes, or the triple actually for you guys. And, and you, you did have a rocky start. I mean, you're a great example of like what it takes to be resilient, to keep seeing the dream. And for everyone who's listening today, there's going to come a time when the pandemic hits bottom and it starts to go back up. And I think it's so important to be ready for that moment. And we, we had a call out to our clients to have them imagine, like, what's a moment in the future where you'll know things have shifted? For me, that, that moment is going to be when I'm on, a, I'm on my Delta flight, which I rescheduled, heading to California to deliver a sales camp with Shondell, right. who's on my team from Minnesota. Like, I can see it. I can yeah. smell the airplane. Like, I can see it. And so I just want you to encur encourage all of you to really start to focus on where you're going. And so, yeah. Kelly, on that note, today, yes, it's going to be a little different because I know, I knew you I just you know I got the download the, the download was do it a little differently like what are those top five ways to network during a pandemic and I can't I couldn't think of I mean the way that this is all lined up to have this conversation at this moment and what you did yesterday to bring all of your groups online like it doesn't get any more perfect to have this conversation so let's take <laughs> one at a time break it down for those of you who are listening please please get a pen out get some paper out take some notes I'm taking right. notes it's so funny the way things come together. We know these divine yeah. appointments are there for a reason. So really from the bottom of my heart, I hope this helps during this time. Um, you know, I, I'm a, a firm believer we will emerge on the other side better. And so we just need to stick together and, and do some pretty common sense things. But it's going to take you out of your comfort zone. I think yeah. in, in migrating all these chapters and these members over to an online platform, because we are, of course, known for face to face networking, migrating them over there, I could tell that the unknown, the fact that they didn't know how to do certain things, maybe had never done a Zoom before, um, was it was difficult for them and it was pushing them and of course the stress of all of this. So I want to start off by saying get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay. We yes. are in a place and space in time where we have to go outside of what we normally do. And, and that's difficult for all of us. I don't care how bold you are, you know, just even thinking in terms of our kids and what they're going through with no school. I got a college student and a senior in high school. And so we're all gonna be uncomfortable here for this short period of time, God willing, it's a short period of time. So, the, so I want you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And one of those things is to really look at how you network effectively online. When we first started doing virtual chapters of team, we were ahead of our time. We started five years ago on a Google Hangout, you could only have 10 people interact on a Google Hangout. So that was the maximum. So we called these virtual online team chapters, power partner chapters. And we had a speaker bureau type 
power partner chapter and we had a technology side and business pro- services and and they could be you know international or they could be very localized and you still meet online uh, we found we were ahead of our time and they didn't quite catch on and google hangout was a little bit of a limit and stuff but it was a great first test for us to dip a toe in that water all those years ago Fast forward to about a little over a year ago where we launched uh, six or seven of our chapters online meeting virtually to as an experiment wow. to see how we would do now. And you will be amazed, much like our conversation is here, we're, we're a thousand, couple thousand miles apart right now, probably. Yes. Uh, it feels like I'm hanging out, sitting next to you. You know, we could be having coffee together. Okay, it like reminds me of the time we had coffee. Right? Yes, I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's amazing is how well face to face trans uh, face to face in person translates to face to face online. And that was one of the things that amazed me when we first dipped our toe in the water in those uh, virtual gr- groups early on was the feel of the meeting, the warmth of the relationships, the ability to connect really translates well online. So I, I'm going to encourage you to really investigate opportunities for you to network online. And I'll give you some tips on that as well um, and some ideas of places to go. Uh, you need to get advice from experts. There's a lot of networking online experts. You've got to dip your toe in the LinkedIn waters if you aren't already there. And I bet a lot of your audience, of course, is already there. But maybe it's time to up your game on LinkedIn. And by upping your game, that means you need to engage with other people. So you really need to to look at your network on LinkedIn, build add people to your network, seek out people who are potential power partners. I'll use that term again and share the definition actually. In team of power partners, somebody who's related to your business, not necessarily a competitor, although there's a there's a way to look at competitors as being great collaborators as well. But for now, I'll stick to people who share your client is who you'd want to seek out and make connections with. And so building that network, you got to engage with that network. Uh, You got to There's a lot of online webinars that are offered right now, some of them through Team Referral Network, um, to teach you how to network online. And one of the things that I love that we do in terms of networking online is we actually host networking events online. So not only our virtual team meetings, which are actual members of the organization, um, but we have an online uh, virtual networking expert, Terry Lee Harrison, who's based in Singapore, and she became an expert out of necessity. She's been there about three years now. Oh, wow. and, yeah, and she was like, I miss networking. And, and of course, they have networking in Singapore, but it was just a little different for her. And she wanted to figure out how to stay connected with people back in the States. And so she's the one who leads the charge for us at team on our virtual networking. She hosts speed networking events online. And she does wow. usually two or three of those a month, and she does a master class once a month, and it's on a topic that's usually related to how to build and grow relationships, referrals in your business in an online community. Um, so getting advice from experts is a tip that I think is very important. Kelly, may I jump in really quickly with that? Please. So give. So I think I can feel all of our listeners going, wow, that'd be really cool. Can you give us a little more of the how? How does one, how do you, what would an online networking event even look like? So it's funny, I had to look up what the actual name of one of the groups that I'm going to recommend your uh, listeners join. And so in Facebook, okay, and, and I didn't try it in LinkedIn, but I got to imagine that it's exactly the same thing. In Facebook, I typed in virtual networking, and there was a long string of opportunities and things that came up. And so I'm going to say, I think you can do the same thing with the LinkedIn search function, virtual networking. And what you're going to get is across the board is all different things. I mean, you're going to have to do, listen, we're, a lot of us are at home, not quite on lockdown, but we're being told not to go out. So I think we have the time to put the research in to do this. Um, go in there and plink around and click on some of those things to see you know, what, what might interest or pique your interest or be specifically for your business. But I will give you one to join right now. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So you want to go to Facebook and you want to join business owners, virtual networking and referrals group. That's a long one. I know. So I'll say it again, business owners, virtual networking and referrals group. 
So the name of it is Business Owners Virtual Networking and Referrals, and it's a group in Facebook. That's the one that Terry Lee heads up, and that's the one that she'll invite you to the speed networking events and the different things that she does um, online there as well. But I was surprised at what else was in there. Yeah. In, out of necessity, when Terry Lee moved to, to Singapore and she wanted to start networking, and then when she started building our virtual team chapters, she went online in search of virtual networking, and it really led her down a fantastic rabbit hole of what's available out there. Hmm. And it's it's not, it turns out we're pretty unique in the market space for team with ex exclusive category sure. networking gr groups, but the other ones have large scale groups that share information, make connections and collaboration together. They are, they are definitely networking together and learning about each other's businesses and connecting and referring people as well. And so kind of like all the face-to-face -face networkings, you get your big networking events, 2000 people come to a market business expo. Um, you know, 100 people come to a chamber function, 50 people come to a mixer. It's kind of like, and there's varying degrees of results you get out of your networking for those different activities. I would say that that is absolutely the same in an online platform as well. Sure. So, so is there, so she, does she have actual scheduled events then? Like we'll all come together at a certain yep. time networking, yep. and she's in the group like leading it. Exactly. Facilitating the whole thing. Okay. It is, it's fantastic. It is cool. absolutely fantastic. So I, I definitely encourage you to be involved in that. Next tip. Okay. You got to get comfortable with zoom or a zoom like platform. And I found out something fantastic yesterday and that as I was starting to buy Zooms for all of the chapter meetings, okay, I get a call from or a text from one of my uh, franchise owners and she said, Zoom's free account now has up to 100 participants allowed and unlimited time. So previously it was limited to three yeah. participants and a 40 minute for the free one. Your next step up was the $15 one and that was usually more than adequate for most people, okay? Um, but the free one, so even though if you go to zoom.com today and sign up, it's gonna say there's a 40 minute limit, but at the 40 minute limit, okay, it says Zoom is extending your time due to the circumstances of the coronavirus and, and that kind of thing. Wow. So Zoom really stepped up here on this. Uh, you have the opportunity to hoard and gouge and do things. You know, I, I'm all for the inventive entrepreneur, not just, but I'm not somebody who takes advantage of people. You have as a company the opportunity to figure out the way that you can step up and contribute. And Zoom did that. And by the way, their stock went up yesterday. Quite a bit. <laughs> you know, Zoom and TP, two things I wish I would have owned stock in a few weeks yes. ago. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I encourage you all to go get that free Zoom account and start That's getting great. really comfortable with holding meetings that way. Your presentation skills, like when you network on a regular basis and you get pretty good at this, you know, like our members do with Team Referral Network, we teach them to learn how to present and speak. Whether you're presenting to one across your desk that could be a potential client or you speak to 100 or even Ursula, like you, a thousand, it's all the same, right? Yes. It's, the skill set is the same. Same thing happens with Zoom in a one-on-one -on -one meeting as well. So, so get your free account, get real comfortable with it, and start scheduling coaching sessions with people. Start meeting with clients. You know, don't wait for this to see what's going to happen kind of thing. As entrepreneurs, we got this, right? We can yeah. get creative and inventive, and we just dive in and do it. I love the jumping off the cliff and building the plane, airplane on the way down. You know, I mean, it's, it's what we do and unfortunately or fortunately it's what we do best sometimes yeah and so in this uh, induced state of panic um there might be some incredible opportunities and and, and i think almost every one of our clients so far has said this has sped up just has forced them to do something they've been wanting to do forever and now oh, they're yeah. like now i have they're like grateful it made me do it now i have to do it and mm -hmm. there was just so, <laughs> there was so much shifting going on with with a group call that we were on and with some other clients and i just thought that's the truth, right? Like we are, we all stepped off the cliff and now we're doing all those things we thought we were going to wait to do. So. Yeah, it's true. I went on our meetings, one of our meetings this morning that made the switch immediately to virtual because literally last Tuesday they met in person and this Tuesday and Fridays when they knew it, this Tuesday they're meeting online. And, um, let's just say there was some technology challenges with people. Again, I think that's one of the things to, to overcome at this point. 
Um, but when I jumped on and got to hear and watch them, they were amazing. And they were at the end of the meeting where they're saying, this was great. This is just what I needed. They even had a visitor there. And I was like, oh, yes, right on. That was, <laughs> it. That was just like great. So, so it, it's, uh, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And here we go. Yes. So. All right, let's see. Um, okay, I don't know how many tips we're up to now, but I'm going to go on to <laughs> my next tip. Um, yeah. Coaching sessions coaching sessions um, for you as a coach I know it's a little bit different you they pay to coach with you but coaching sessions are actually what we do in team referral network and we have the opportunity to meet together you know outside of our normal meeting where we share four very important elements and I'm going to review those four elements because it's really easy for your listeners to um, do great coaching sessions. But I want to tell you why you want to have a format to follow in a coaching session where you're meeting one-on-one -on -one to become, to deepen your relationship, become more credible. And when you've built rapport and a better relationship and you're credible, guess what happens after that? You become referable. Yes. Okay. But it's, you can't shortcut those steps. Okay. In order to become referable, you have, have to build rapport and a relationship and credibility. When we're thinking about referring the most important people in our lives, potentially to each other, you know, um, for me, it's the mother test. You know, my mom passed away 10 years ago, but it's still the mother test. Okay. Would I refer this person to my mother? And, you know, your, your test might be my best client or my best friend or my spouse. You know, it just depends on who that person is for you. Um, but the rapport and relationship and credibility must happen in order to have the referability. Okay. Yes. And so, um, so I'll go over quickly what we do in a coaching session for Team Referral Network. And this is going to be really high tech right here. If you guys would all take and draw a line down the middle of the paper and then across the paper. See how high tech that is? Yes. And I remember, by the way, when we did this. <laughs> yeah. So at the top left, okay, in the top left quadrant, you're going to put what to look for. On the top right, you will put what to listen for. Bottom left, ideal prospects. And bottom right, power partners. Okay, and I'll just quickly touch on those, and you keep me on time here, Ursula, like, because you know right. you, you'll right. have to shut me up on, on these topics. Okay, so what to look for? Visual cues, right? Many businesses have a visual cue. Okay, and so we need to train our networking partners, our referral partners, what to look for for our business. So for certain businesses, it might be a little easier than others. My husband's a painting contractor. Hey, if you're hanging around with your friends and you notice that their, you know, paint is peeling on the wall, you can bring up, hey, have you thought about painting, you know? I mean, those kind of visual cues might be easy, but a visual cue, let's say for um, a real estate agent, okay, is um, a house that's overflowing with people and items. Maybe it's time to talk about, you know, upsizing in terms of their home. Um, if it's something where, you know, you notice that there's a baby coming, okay, that's a visual cue, a baby bump, you know, there's a bunch of different potential referrals that could come out of opening conversations with people about what their plans are with having a child. And so we each have visual cues, and we need to take a few minutes to really think about what those are, and then be able to share them with our networking partners. So then the next one is um, audio cues, okay, what to listen for. So when your client is talking to you and having a meeting with you and saying, you know, before I do anything with you, you know, I can't move forward until I get this tax situation taken care of. Okay, well, great opportunity to say you have a great CPA because I know a great CPA. I can't move forward with you because, I don't know, we're thinking about getting a divorce. It's a terrible topic, but I mean, again, auditory cues, if we sure. turn... If we really listen to what the important people in our lives are saying, there are literally referral opportunities pouring out of their mouth. Yeah. 
but we have to care enough to want to help them, number one, and have credible referral partners that can take care and solve that problem for them, right? Mm -hmm. Who looks like the hero when you do that? Yes. You, you look like a rock star, right? Oh my God, you know, that Ursula, she knows everybody. I know I can go to her, get the right referral. And man, they did a terrific job. You're so awesome, Ursula. You know, the, the people who did the work, provided the service, solved the problem, they're awesome too. But really as a connector, yes. being that way, that, that's a pretty amazing opportunity in our lives to be that go-to person, uh, the go-to guy, the go-to girl, you know, that, that's, uh, we call it an invaluable resource when you can become an invaluable resource to your clients. When your competitor's knocking on, the, on their door, they're not going to leave you because somebody's undercutting your price. They're going to turn around and go, why would I leave her when she is an invaluable resource to me, my family, my company? Okay. So visual cues, audio cues, and then the bottom left quadrant is ideal prospects. Mm-hmm. And again, all of this information flows so well online in a Zoom, face-to-face -face Zoom meeting. Yes. Um, the ideal prospects, the key word there is ideal. And we have a tendency as business owners, entrepreneurs, we have a tendency to think small and give the anybody's, everybody's, and somebody's in our vernacular. And, and we have to stop that, okay? Because... You know, if you're an insurance agent and you're selling property and casualty insurance in a California, everybody's required to have it. So you would think, yeah, everybody needs my services. But if we drill that down, we can say, well, one, it'd be nice if they owned a car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. Okay. Two, it'd be nice if they had some income in order to pay for the premiums. Okay. Good. Yeah. Three, you know, maybe it'd be nice if they had um, a better driving record than say four DUIs on their record. Okay. Um, it might, you know, I mean, we could really drill this down yeah. and eliminate the everybody, anybody's and somebody's from our, from our conversations. And I think that muddies the water too much. You know, how many times have you heard any small business owner is a great referral for me? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I want, I want your listeners, I want team people, I want the people that we have the opportunity to share information with to really understand that they should focus on the ideal. And this goes exactly with what you do with selling with intention, picturing that, using the right mindset, ideal prospects. We want to spend more time with ideal prospects. I have a window washing company. They are amazing. Okay, they've been doing my windows for 20 years. They barely raised their prices in 20 years. They're amazing. I don't ever want them to hear me say this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I give them a lot of referrals, though. So I'm, I'm using them as an this. example of now they're too busy. They're like, you know, they can't fit people in for weeks. They, uh, you know, they, they do their best to accommodate me. You know, it's better if you get on a regular schedule. And so, I sit here and think that they, I know why they're too busy. Okay. They, they have all their clients from all of these years who they haven't raised their prices on them using them. What would happen if, and what would your business look like if you gave yourself a raise, mm -hmm. right? If you gave yourself a raise, would some of those people drop off? Heck yes. And you want them to, would it make room for higher paying clients? Could you end up in a six month period of time, a year period of time with a 20, 30, 40, or as you would say, double or triple. Okay. Yes. If they freed themselves up, let go of the old, not me, let go of the old and, and gave themselves a raise. So ideal prospects is a place that we want to dwell uh, rather than on the anybody's, everybody's and somebody's. And the fourth quadrant is the power partner search. And I, personally, I believe that power partners, those that are related to your business, you're not in competition with each other, but you share the same type of client, the same type of customer, the same type of member, patient, whatever you call your person, okay? That Power Partners provides an endless source of referrals. 
an absolute endless source of referrals. And when you build that right power team, and it can be done within an exclusive category networking organization like team, it can be done with your local chamber of commerce people, it can be done in a community like yours, Ursula, it can be done in any situation where you have powerful connections and opportunities to build the right relationship, where you put together five, six, seven, eight people who are in a related industry who share the same type of client and learn how you can refer each other business, it is absolutely magical, magical. We have a team chapter called the Financial Power Partners, and there's uh, about 20 members to this group. And in some way, shape, or form, they all contribute, serve, sell to high net worth individuals and or business owners. Mm -hmm. So, they're, so they're not quite a B2B group like some of our E-team, executive team groups where they only focus on business to business. They work with consumers as well, but they work with high net worth individuals and business owners. That's, you know, so they're a very tight knit group of people who can refer each other on a regular basis and in actuality do joint sales meetings and things together um, that further, they bring the whole team along is, sure. is basically what it is. So anybody can create this but it takes the work to build the rapport, the relationships to get the referrals and to really become a cohesive and tight unit. And so seeking out your best potential power partners and building the right relationships with them is a great way to build your network and build your opportunity to grow your business that way. And, and right now, I don't know that there's ever been a better moment to have power partners. And I mean, with the right power partners, I know in my own business, you can double or triple sales and it's just incredible and what's great about how you guys have set it up has team has set it up is that people are paying they're investing to be connected in these power partner groups and I've seen people try to make this happen outside of investing and kind of do, like just trying to make it happen on their own and it's challenging like you have to be super committed so it's a great opportunity to be part of a group like team where it's already set up and people have the same mindset and they're paying to be there like that's phenomenally powerful I can imagine I mean, I'm sure you calculate, but I can, I can only imagine the, the money that circulates in these groups as they refer back to each other. It's, I always call it the tornado of money and it yeah. just circles around and around yeah. and, and grabs <laughs> more members to be involved in it. It's amazing. A real estate transaction could be business for seven people, you know, and it's just phenomenal how that can come together in a way that again, is just magical and a, and a fun way to do things as well. And, and it helps because if someone's, I believe it, when people invest in their own business, they care about their clients. Like when you invest in a high level to be part of a networking group or a mastermind or a coaching group, like you just, you care, you want to do well so that you know that that's who you're attracting. And of course, the values of your organization reflect that as well. Well, thank you. And I absolutely agree. And, and, and you know, I'm going to go back to when you were talking about the free networking that's out there. I 100% believe free networking has a place and space in society. Yes, we have a lot sure. of people who come to team who aren't ready to join team. They may not be ready financially, even though it's a relatively low investment, but again, that's probably part of their mindset, okay? They might not be ready. They don't feel like they're polished enough. They just may be novice, although we welcome novice people into team. Maybe they're just not there yet. And I tell people, go join a free group. And, and the challenge of it is, is like one of the greatest free groups that are here in this area that I've referred people to, okay, just shut down their meetings because they're not an organization that's equipped to, to provide all the support services and get everybody continuing um, to meet. So they, they have to shut down. So there's definite advantages to paying for your networking, investing in the opportunity to build a network like we do at Team Referral Network or like you do in your organization organization. Um, but there is, you know, I tell people if they need a, a, a start and they need some place to get going, then by all means do it. They'll be ready to graduate. Yeah. Like, right. I mean, there's meetups, there's, there's tons of great groups. And then there's service-based groups too, that are phenomenal to network, like the rotaries and everything else. Absolutely. Um, we didn't have time to cover all those today. I want to go through what I've written down. Cause I, I want to see if there's one more step. So you talked about get comfortable with being uncomfortable Get advice from experts on how to network online. You talked about Terry Lee, and I think um, might be really good for me to have her on the show too. Definitely. Uh, get comfortable with Zoom or something like Zoom. And remember that Zoom has a free account right now, which up to 100 people like the time adjusts, which is great. Yay. Thank you, Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, and have coaching sessions, which you went through the four steps to make that happen. 
Is there a fifth one or did I miss something in there? Yeah, I'm try I'm try I must have combined one from there. Okay. Let me take a look at here at my uh, little notes here. Uh, we talked about getting involved with LinkedIn and that's yes, something that is very important. And I think LinkedIn more so, it, not that all the social media platforms are great and you, you have social media experts to direct you there. I'm specifically, ta specifically talking about finding power partners and people who, who want to network with you. And I think LinkedIn is a great place to start with that and, uh, and, and relatively easy. And you can do a free version of LinkedIn or a premium version of LinkedIn just depends on what you want out of this service. Yeah. So I want to, I want to wrap up um, by just kind of pulling all this together. I mean, obviously, you know, we're in an interesting time. We're talking about new ways to network during the pandemic. Like that's the conversation. So for thought. someone who's feeling stuck, they're in fear, they're in like, um, you know, obviously you're, you're a resource for our community now. And, and some of our community, of course, is part of your group and they already know you. I, I just want you to help like, come up with one step. And I'm wondering too, like if someone wanted to come and visit your group for, do, do guests come for, to visit for free for the first time? Absolutely. And tell us about all the resources and things that you have for our listeners. So let's help them find that one step and then tell us what you have to offer. Right. So I, I think probably the first step, honestly, I'm going to make it not about team referral network. I, I think it's familiarizing yourself with Zoom. And again, it doesn't have to be Zoom. There are other platforms, but what I've found with them is one, we know they have this great free account, but two, um, it's so easy to use. Zoom is so easy. So it's easy. Oh, it's so it's easy. idiot proof. And I, I'm the idiot. Okay. It's very idiot. easy for me too. And I'm not super tight. <laughs> so, so get with your friends or people and just start doing Zoom. This is a great way to get in touch with your out of state people like you can zoom yes. with your in, your in-laws you know well, and that's a great point the first time I did zoom I made Tim my husband was upstairs and I was downstairs <laughs> and I just said I go I want this to be perfect I want to make sure I can record I want to make sure it's recorded and he, <laughs> um, we we practice first so that's yes. a great, yes. that's a great advice. Yes. So just get comfortable with that because you know this is a way for you to stay connected and i think that's just got to be the message here yes even though we are isolated right now and we are distancing ourselves socially all these words that i'm sure are causing you with your you know with the mindset thing it's probably driving you nuts okay <laughs> it's it's about staying connected okay so zoom's going to be the first thing that i say okay i get familiar with it become comfortable yes. with it you can use it socially, you can use it for business, and it's free. Okay, how amazing is that? Okay, perfect. Um, team referral network, you absolutely can go visit a chapter and you can visit twice before we say think about joining us. Okay, okay. And so, the best way to find networking in your area, okay, is to go to the team referral network website, which is teamreferralnetwork.com. You click on chapters and enter your area that you're at, and up will pop the chapters that are there. By the next few days, I can't say it'll be done 100% by today, all the Zoom links will now be um, in the information on the chapter page where the chapter meeting is. So previously, there might have been a Mimi's Cafe in Sherman Oaks, and, and, you know, and that's where they were meeting. Now it's going to say uh, meeting via Zoom location. It will have the meeting ID for you to click on and join at the appointed time. And, um, and so all of the chapters will have that here over a very short period of time. So we should have that set up um, very nicely for people. And so, and then, so you can drop in and visit and you go on video and you're going to give a one minute commercial, share who you are, what you do, what you need next for your business. Um, it gives you an opportunity to make connections. I heard the review of the visitor who was, uh, who had never done a zoom before. He actually managed to visit the chapter, get there, do his commercial, meet everybody. And he was sharing at the end of the meeting how awesome he thought this was. Mm. And I had, I heard another member say, I thought I was going to be all alone. And now I realize I'm not going to be all alone. Okay. So, um, so if you want to visit there, that's how you do it. The website is a wealth of information. You can also click on our calendar for events and, um, and then get into that group that joined the business owners virtual networking and referrals group um, for online events that will be happening from team as well. That's great. And all of that's going to be in our show notes. So we'll send that out. And off the top of your head, they know, are you in um, the Minnesota, Wisconsin region yet? Or what are like, I mean, because we, we do have a lot of listeners, we have a lot of listeners in California and the West Coast and, mm -hmm. uh, but they could check out a virtual group. 
they absolutely can check out okay. a virtual group. And we've even put together virtual groups that actually are from an area. So we have a Washington, D.C. virtual group. Okay. And the Washington, they're all in the Washington, D.C. area. They do their meetings virtually, but they're also planning on doing events together that are face-to-face. -face. You know, mm -hmm. obviously, that's been pushed out just a little bit there. But uh, groups, we can start groups, and they can be in your area, but you can continue to meet virtually. And, of course, right now, all of our face-to-face -face groups are very much local to each other and they're meeting online as well. Which is, is perfect. And for our listeners, um, we've had some of our local Minnesota groups, um, AGC, Master Networks, just a shout out to them. I mean, there's networking groups are all very different. All and, over. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to close with this question. This is the, this is the 30 second, I don't know if you can do it in 30 seconds, but um, like, what's your rule of networking? I mean, obviously, so in, so team referral is um, one business per category, and then what do you, rec like, how do you, like, we talk about, you know, um, like three, so it's good to have a business to business. It's great to be in your industry. It's great to have a charity. Like what's, what's your uh, advice on how to network or what kind of groups you should be in? So I approach it a couple of different ways. It's kind of similar to what you're talking about there. Being in a category exclusive group is where you're really going to get referrals on a regular and consistent basis. They meet weekly. I mean, that's, you know, out of sight is kind of out of mind in your networking. And so that, that whatever organization is, that face-to-face -face exclusive category, weekly meeting that's focused on referrals to grow your business, okay, is where you're going to get a lot of that. But your soul might be more fed sitting on a board for a charity, giving back of your time, you know, volunteering in an organization like that. And those are great networking opportunities, but knowing that you're going in there for a deeper, higher meaning, okay, um, is what that's about. And I certainly absolutely, well, you know, in team, we have our community out. Right. Yes. Yeah. Every single chapter, including our virtual teams, every single chapter has the opportunity to have a nonprofit member be a part of the team. We donate the membership to them. We introduce them to this great group of people who can rally around them. One of our international networkers, her work is done in India. She lives here in California. She travels regularly back to India. So she's part of one of our virtual teams because it really doesn't matter where anybody's sure. at potential for referrals. So I do think you have to build in that give back element to your building your business. And however you do that, people choose. It is very personal choice a lot of times to people. But we have the most wonderful nonprofits that are part of team. We just did an event before all events were kind of shut down, a mixer that was a um, benefit for Dress for Success. Um, it's an organization that helps women who have left their homes and environments because of abuse and are kind of starting all over again. Amazing and organization. Yes. Amazing, amazing. And I mean, we have Habitat for Humanity, Girl Scouts, YMCA, we've had City of Hope, we've had the most phenomenal nonprofits be part of team um, over the years. And it, it makes people feel good about being part of a chapter that they can give back at the same time they're building and growing their business. So inserting that element, I think is really important. I think it's important to be involved in a local level in your chamber. And that's primarily even they do networking um, events, most certainly. But I really think it's more crucial for you to know what's happening in your community and how it relates to your business and your chamber is your ally for that. And so really being in the know, I think is important. Um, Toastmasters is another organization it's fantastic to belong to if you haven't um, perfected your speaking um, and want to. It's a great way to help you build confidence in your speaking. So, yes. so those would be some Good. of the tips that I would get. Yeah. So having that sort of well-rounded networking approach. Well, Kelly, this has been awesome. Um, one more time, your, the website, where they find all this great information and then how they can, if someone wanted to get in touch with you to book you for, to be on a show or to book you to speak at their next conference, tell us about that as well. And then we'll wrap you got up. It. So teamreferralnetwork.com is where you'll find all of the resources for Team Referral Network. We have a membership side of the website and then the public side of the website. And so um, you can check that out. Uh, for me personally, Kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at teamreferralnetwork.com. That's how you can reach me directly. I would love all of your listeners, if you would like a copy of my ebook, um, Cracking the Business Networking Code, yes. we can get that to you and just email me and we'll send it out to you. 
Um, and if you are interested in finding out about having me speak, I love, I'm passionate about helping small business owners build and grow through relationships and referrals. It's, it's what I do. I'm not a polished professional speaker like Ursula. Oh. I am, <laughs> I am, I speak to build and grow team referral network and to introduce people to the concept of how to really build and grow relationships to get referrals. Um, and I love doing it. So, um, if there's ever a need for that, that would be perfect. So, right. Kelly at Team Referral Network. Go to teamreferralnetwork.com. And you're a phenomenal speaker. Your passion is <laughs> lead with your passion. And, and we need more of that in the world today. So thank you. Thank you for being a leader in everything that you do and for being willing to be on during what I know is a very chaotic time. You kept this calendar date and I'm super grateful for that. So, so thank you. And we wish Team Referral and all of your members and you just um, – Phenomenal success as everything comes back. We know it's going to come back. So and we know it's going to come back. Can't wait to be on this ride, all of us together. And so good to be with you, my friend. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. And I want to thank again our listeners all over the world. We so appreciate you. Go to salescoachnow.com forward slash gift. Get our freebie. Download it. Put it in front of you. Keep listening because I'm going to keep bringing amazing guests like Kelly to keep you, keep you motivated, keep you inspired. You've got to keep going. As Kelly said, as we've been talking about, we are all in this together. So we've got to stay connected. All right, you guys, bless you. Take care. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. And if you want to check out more videos, tap the screen right here.